Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to our junkyard truck career. I am going to tell you guys something that you aren't going to know about, obviously. Uh, first thing is, I actually did record this video once already, and uh, I lost our chainsaw, and I can't find it. So the game doesn't do auto saves after you reach a certain point, you have to manually save. So I had recorded this video and then at the end of it I was like I don't have a chainsaw anymore and we need to make a lot of money. At the end of the video I think at the end of the video I recorded I decided that we need to build up a thousand dollars because we need a turbo system on this engine. I went out and I bought all of these parts to replace in our engine, put it all together, we were driving around tried to climb some hills and stuff, and it was still massively underpowered. So unfortunately, a turbo is our only option. And I'm not going to do only garbage runs to make money. I would like to do some logging and stuff just for my own sanity as well. So that's super unfortunate that I have to kind of go through this again, but I'm not gonna, not gonna get too crazy with it I guess you could say so I did figure out how to pull the engine out finally which we didn't do um the very first time I had ever tried to remove it we were trying to pull it out in the parking lot just over there I believe and this game actually does engine mount bolts which is something that like car mechanic simulator didn't do so that's something to that's kind of cool about this game so anyways I'm going to remove the transmission and the transfer case here in order to get the uh, clutch and everything off. And then I'll pull the end. Uh, I'm going to undo the engine bolts and then we will pull the engine out and replace the parts that need to be replaced. So that is the plan for this. I'm uh, we have done a lot of unbolting and stuff already. And it's a lot slower in this game than it was for Car Mechanic Simulator. Plus, it's not as not as neat looking, I guess you could say, is the kind of phrase I want to use. Because there's more, like, it's, it's a free roaming tool. So, in order to get it every single bolt, you know, I have to do this kind of slow. I could speed it up. I'm not too sure if you guys are going to enjoy that. Or if you'd rather I just cut it out. So, I might try the speed up here or maybe i'll try the um the cut either way i mean if you guys want to let me know what you like that would be pretty greatly appreciated then i would know what to kind of do i can try to speed it up i'm just like i'm kind of worried about like there being too much jarring and it would just be kind of like hard to look at if that makes any kind of sense to you guys so we're just gonna drain the oil and then, yeah, here are the engine mount bolts here. There is four of them on either side of the engine bolting to the frame, which is something, like, I knew about, but I didn't realize this game was doing. So that's kind of interesting that it did that to me. So there you have it. I'll get this engine pulled out, and uh, we'll get some new parts in. Here on. So yeah, once you remove the engine bolts, we've got our engine stand here ready to go. We can just grab the engine like that. Look how strong we are. Just fully beast mode on this engine right now. <laughs> that is not a light pickup. And we totally just he-manned that out of there. We must be, we're built differently, I guess. I do have a battery on the charger as well. So I was noticing, I don't know, our battery looks like it's in kind of rough shape. There is um, a part I'm missing. I wanted to replace the distributor. And, well, I didn't replace it in the last video that I just recorded that is missing now. But um, when we were pulling everything apart, I noticed that the distributor is really bad. So that's going to be something I have to pick up and do as well. So yeah, we're going to get this apart. And... Uh, I want to try maybe using the welder on the block. I want to know if that'll help fix it. I've noticed that the welder can't fix parts, which I was kind of hoping it would, but it doesn't. It, so far, it looks like it only fixes the body of the truck, 
So that's gonna be something we're gonna try out as well. So yeah, we'll get this engine apart and uh, get her back together. Okay, why are you being like this? All right, everyone, so we've got it tore down basically to the block here. I'm gonna go over the parts that I realized I didn't tell you guys what parts we're replacing. So we've got all our time ge timing gears here. We've got a rocker arm assembly, a crankshaft, a new head gasket, a fan pulley, and an alternator. So I am replacing the head gasket because reading this book here, it was saying that white smoke means your head gasket's probably gone. And our old one is right here, and you can see it's interesting as soon as you pull it off the vehicle you see what condition and it's in pretty bad condition so that's why it spews white smoke once in a while so to get at our timing gears is the timing cover which is something that we I don't think we've taken off yet together so I figured could show you guys kind of this aspect of the engine removal process so you can see we're getting our kind of parts everywhere right now so yeah, there you go. You can see these are all in really bad condition. So we're gonna do this. Whoa, let's just, hey, look at that. You can take the crankshaft out with re removing the pistons and stuff. Now, usually there is no way you'd be able to do that. You have to at least remove all these bearing caps at the bottom here. But apparently this game has decided that you don't have to do that and you can just pull it out so that actually makes this a little bit faster because this was this was slow going for me last time um i'm actually going to do this a little bit differently so we're going to put those there for now i'll explain in a minute so here we go we can put this back in i guess yeah look at that that's so much faster we've got our timing gear one two and three, there we go. Already looking a whole lot better. And then yeah, from here, it's just basically our reassembly, which, oh my goodness, which we have done once before. So again, I'm not too sure what you guys would like to see, but I'm gonna mostly cut out, I think this, because we have been doing a lot of that. And this game is seems to be a lot of back and forth with, uh, rebuilding the engine and then putting it back together and stuff because parts are always breaking on it so i don't want to be super repetitive with that unfortunately there isn't really much else like to the game until we actually get this thing working properly then the game will actually start taking off a little bit better we could start doing some other things so i'll put this back together and uh get back to you guys All right, and there you have it, everyone. The engine is officially back together and ready to go inside the truck. We just have to put our plug wires and our battery on afterwards. Um, we can obviously put a lot of that in beforehand, but I like to try and create some sort of realism. <laughs> so you wouldn't obviously put this stuff on. Oh, hello? Are you not going to give me my battery back? Oh, there we go. There we go. Awesome. So now we just have to get uh, underneath it and put the transmission back in. And then we can take this thing to town to get, I guess, the rest of the stuff that I kind of need to do. 
so oh wait no that doesn't go on it's interesting because in theory you shouldn't be able to do some of these things without um doing other things like it was just giving us the okay to put the transmission in and you've got to put all this clutch all these clutch parts in first which kind of reminds me, we also have to tighten up our uh, engine mount bolts. So, one, uh, one benefit I did actually get from doing the video, and then it kind of failing, is I learned that tires are bought individually. So... Those tires are like 360 bucks or 500 bucks, it says. That is per tire. So that is something very much to consider when we are finally ready to upgrade our tires. That's going to be a very expensive bill. We got like $1,200 in tires, basically. And I don't know if you can take old tires off of like the rims we have or if we have to buy new rims for it. That's the only thing I'm not sure about with that so might try experimenting here one day and try taking a tire off because we haven't even taken a tire off yet i have no idea what else we can do with that so there we have it the truck is back together oh man this is such a disaster just put that there that works all right so there we go um the only thing that we are missing is some oil i did forget to pick it up before we came here so we only have this spare 32 kind of milliliters or whatever it's supposed to be in this game i'm not too sure what the measurement is in the game so we're gonna have to go to town and we're gonna have to what time is it that's a screwdriver it's 1801 we might go to bed for the night and then in the morning we'll head into town we're going to drop off all this garbage and everything, and then we'll pick up the last couple of parts we need. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. Good morning, everyone. It's looking like kind of a miserable day out here, isn't it? It's six o'clock in the morning. I haven't even tried using the screwdriver yet or this meter, I guess. Do we have any other tools? What is this? Oh, that's a tire checker. Oh, we've got a crowbar. Well, there's so many more tools than I ever actually checked on. So, all right, we're going to head on into town here. And we're going to go pick up that last couple of parts we need. Ah, uh, you hear that? Hear that squealing? That's actually our fan belt going. I learned that in that other video that I was doing as well. And uh, I had to replace the fan belt when we got to town. So that's going to be another thing we have to do once we get there. And who knows, maybe we'll even get lucky and there'll be some scrap and stuff. Unfortunately, it's, uh... Yeah. Slow going getting this thing back together, isn't it? Alright everyone, we're back in town. We're here to pick ourselves up some oil for our engine. And I'm going to run over to the parts store. And uh, we're going to go over some of the parts that we have to purchase here coming up. All right, so we're back here in the store and I'm going to show you guys kind of what we need. So we need a turbo inlet pipe for about a hundred bucks. We need the manifold for another 200 bucks and we need the turbocharger itself for 650 bucks. So that's like $950 just for all these parts. And that's how much it's going to cost us to put a turbocharger in our engine. And that's going to be basically the next best thing we can do until we throw a V8 into it. And we have to buy all new hoses. We have to buy the heads, which are 400 a piece, 160 for the intakes, so that's 560. You got this, which would be over $700 for the carburetor and everything. The water pump, you're at $800. About $900 with the air intake filter. You got 100, 250. 
30, 65, 90, and 90, 90. We have to buy all of this, the covers, the oil pan, all the pistons, timing covers, chains, timing gears, the torque converter, and the everything. And then on top of all of that, we have to buy the transmission to put it all back together. So that's going to be a huge build. It's going to be a lot of grinding to get everything done. Of course, I will share it with you guys when I find the time to actually do it. So, but unfortunately, where we stand in the game right now... Wait, I need a fan belt real quickly here. Um, that's kind of about all we can do until we grind up a lot. If uh, I grind up, I'll show you guys the turbo install... And show you guys what how the truck performs with the turbo in it and then we'll see if that is enough to do some of the side si other side missions like we've got racing and stuff we can do there's because there's that race thing there and then obviously we've got some scouting missions that i found and everything but until we get this truck running and with enough power to actually do something other than just cruise around town, it's just going to be a grind for me. So, hey everyone. So I have been very hard at work here doing some junkyard runs, like the dumpster and stuff, and some pretty good scrap runs. And you can see we are up to $1,236. So that means it is time to put a turbocharger on the truck. But before I do that... I had kind of a thought roll through my head. Back when the truck was first bought, it was able to pull hills with the everything, and it was in worse shape than it is now, but it was still able to pull hills and still able to do all this stuff. So why isn't it doing it anymore with new parts? I'm having kind of a thought, and it might be a little out there, but I'm thinking that the fuel injection EFI system that we put on the truck is possibly designed to work with the turbo. So because that system is on the truck, it's actually taking some power from it. It's so like the truck works really good in flats, but as soon as you run into hills, it bogs out. So for a couple, like 175 bucks, I did buy a carburetor and an air filter, and we still have our brand new carbureted mint carbureted intake manifold from the beginning of the game so i threw that all on the truck um you can see we have a stove here that we're going to run into town make a couple hundred bucks off that and uh, we're going to give it a shot we're going to try climbing some hills and doing a little bit of adventuring we put the carbureted intake back on and we still have our fancy system and we have enough to turbocharge it when we're ready so without further you know what yeah no, we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. We did actually end up um, picking up a small job from our. Oh, look at that! Another stove. This has got to be the most kind of like disgusting town ever they just drop garbage everywhere and it seems to never end so anyways as i was saying our friend jake over in town who um wanted us to bring beer and then had uh furniture from his girlfriend left over he sent us another message on our computer over there and he said hey come check something out so i went and i talked to him and uh some kids some hooligans i guess had stolen the tires off of his car so we actually had a mission to run over to the junkyard and oh my goodness another stove are we even gonna be able to fit that in here oh my goodness that is insanity uh, yeah nope These things are very finicky. That does not look like it's gonna stay. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
Why can there not be straps in this game so we can strap stuff down? That would be so nice. Oh, look at that. There's food in there for some weird reason. I don't even know how that got there. Are we going to be able to... Oh my goodness. Stick this in the truck? Hmm. It's not looking like it. Can we stick the stove in the truck? No, we cannot. All right. Let's see if we can do something crazy here. It's a big stove. Yeah, look at that, eh? All right, so we've kind of got everything sitting in there. I'm going to try taking it easy over to the um, scrapyard, and we'll we'll see if we can do this. We'll hang out the window a little bit. I really wish that they would introduce a strapping system into this game, so that way you could just load up. Or even a trailer. A small trailer would be nice for stuff like this. But anyways, he did call us. He had some hooligans steal some tires, so we had a job from him where we had to go search the scrapyard for some car tires and then he ended up paying us for it. I think it was like a hundred dollar job. Nothing too crazy or anything. Yeah. I don't know, this carbureted engine like coming up that hill there with all these stoves in it. I mean she tug struggled a little bit but I've had this thing struggle going up that hill empty a couple times. So yeah, I'm really not too sure what all that's about. I would like to get into some exploring because uh, the more I've been thinking about it and kind of looking at it in town, I have noticed that you can make moonshine. I think I had commented on a earlier episode and when I actually, I just went up and I bought one of those empty crates just to see. It turned it into a moonshine crate. It said moonshine crate. So, that means that you are able to make moonshine in this game. That is an actual thing, it looks like. So I have a feeling that there's going to be more parts we have to find, though. We're going to need to find, like, a boiler, a moonshine boiler, in order to boil down. Because we have yeast, and we have sugar, and then cornmeal. And I think, I know for sure you need sugar. I think yeast is maybe for beer, and then maybe cornmeal is for something else. Maybe there's three different types, or maybe it's just different ways of making moonshine, or maybe you need all three. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, I have a feeling that there is a distillery hiding in the woods somewhere, and we just have to find it. So I really want to be able to explore a little bit without all these issues. So... Here is hoping that the carbureted engine maybe has better power or something. Maybe not necessarily better power, but because it's a simple system instead of a complicated, maybe it'll work better. That's kind of my hope anyway, so we're going to give it a shot. There you go. Thank you. Look at that. $1,500. Our inventory is starting to get very full of cash. That is an interesting feeling. All right, so we need to find a hill that we can't usually pull. And there is a hill right here that we, I think I've tried once before and the truck did fail me. So let's, uh, let's go check it out. So you can see it's pretty steep. Okay, to be fair, this is a pretty aggressive looking hill. So this might not be the best hill to test this on, but there is a part of me that thinks that it is handling some of this better. Uh, what's another thing we can kind of test out then? 
do a little bit more. Oh, we're almost out of fuel. Maybe we should go back to town. We'll fill up. And then we'll uh, try something a little bit, a little bit different. She was definitely struggling before with some hills. That would have been a hill that I know that we weren't able to make it up before. Whoa! It was like she definitely feels more powerful than she used to. That's that's a that's a given. With all of our new parts and everything, she's definitely more powerful. I've noticed once in a while she spins out on me if I'm going around a corner a little too fast. So I definitely think that she's got more power. Because I really feel like you should be able to do a fair bit of this exploring without having to put the V8 engine in. So, but I mean, the turbo system is pretty cheap to fully install. It's probably about $2,000 all in. We, uh, we need a drink. We're going to hop in here for a quick drink. Perfect. All right. Just throwing cans into our truck. Okay. Let's go check out an area we haven't been yet. I kind of came through there once. But she really struggled going up hills and stuff, so... I really wish you could maybe fix your steering and stuff. It kind of feels like, oh, 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 we're going into the hills. We're going into the trees, guys. There we go. Okay. So, we definitely struggled um, coming up this hill at one point. I mean, obviously going down is no big issue. We had some issues down here. Looks like... Am I seeing? What is that? Oh, that's, that's a fuel trailer. That's right. So there is a fuel trailer down here which you can kind of hook up to. Not too sure what it's used for. And there's some sort of... Some sort of pipe here. It's a water valve. So we can transport water, it looks like. I think that's what this trailer is for. So I'm not too sure what you would transport water for. So that's an interesting little tidbit, I guess, we can look into at some point. clicker into four wheel oh yeah look at that so we've got some containers over here that we can come and check out I guess what's all this about literally nothing they're just empty containers I guess how far into the water can we walk not very far we're mate we're regretting our decisions here all right, so here is a test. We're going to try and get up this hill here. We know for a fact that... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. She doesn't care. She's fine. So, yeah, maybe... Maybe there was a kind of glimmer of truth in that. Maybe... Maybe, um, maybe it had to be carbureted. So because we've got that, we've got a couple different areas we can actually maybe possibly check out now. So we did try up by the recycling depot. That didn't work. We're supposed to be checking out those, uh, towers. So I'm thinking we're going to go that way. Maybe go explore along that river. This road here is supposed to lead back to our house. Maybe we'll actually take this road, actually. I like that plan. Because that'll lead back to our house. And we can see how she does. On a road we haven't been on yet. And I think it should be... This road right here. Go 
going through some mud. Looks like she's not having too many, too much for issues. We do have to keep in mind that we have like the worst tires. Whoa! There's only so much that the truck is going to be able to handle. So I am trying to keep it kind of simple. Like that could be why it wasn't climbing that last hill we tried. And try to keep an eye out for other things that are hiding in these woods because we need to we need to start exploring a little bit I really like being able to hang out outside the truck this is like my all-time favorite view I, I do this in my own truck sometimes when we're cruising on back roads and stuff like that I'll just hang out the window definitely when I'm a passenger this is like my favorite view yeah see that there is no way the truck used to be able to do stuff like that. And we've tried recently with the fuel injection system. And it's still been giving us grief. Look at that. Just climb it. Just climb it all. Love it. Look at that. Who needs roads now, eh? What is all this over here? This is looking like just a mud hole? Is that all this is? This is just a mud hole, eh? Looks like there's even a little trail here. Interesting. Okay, so nothing too, too crazy. Ah, yeah, look at that. Look at that view. It's nice to be out in the woods, man. It's nice. We just keep going this way? Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> look at this. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's actually kind of more epic looking feeling over here. The, uh suspension in this game actually is pretty cool they do a pretty decent job with it all right let's take this trail let's see where it kind of just takes us to this trail We've got some rocks to climb up here now let's go up this hill oh yeah look at that power all the way Got some trees, this could be a problem. Ah. Looks like she doesn't have quite enough power to possibly climb over. Hmm. We might have to try this hill again. Just try to avoid the uh, trees at the top. So she can do simple stuff, that's for sure. So we're definitely still going to need that turbo system. But it was nice to see that this thing can actually perform a little bit on the dirt roads. She's starting to feel a little, a little less powerful. We're going to try coming up this way. Come on, girl. That's the stuff. And look at that. Back on the road. No problems there. Perfect. Oh, look at the road, man. Look at the road. All right, so there we go. We actually made it back. So yeah, I mean, we put the carbureted on and it looks like it performed really well. So that's good news. I'm curious how it'll handle a uh, load of logs actually. And another discovery, there's a garden hose back here we can use. So you can see we've actually got this and we can turn this on. Water comes on. I, I tried bring it over to the truck, but uh, Nothing appears to happen. So I'm not too sure what the purpose of this garden hose is. Because it, it doesn't seem to do anything. I thought maybe it was for washing the truck. But it is most definitely not washing the truck. So I have no idea what's going on there. So as I said, I do want to see how this thing's going to handle with a load of logs. So let's grab our trusty chainsaw here. I'm going to throw it in the back here. There we go. Of course, I have no idea how much fuel we have for it. Probably not much. Haven't used it in quite a while. Hello, Jalopy. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut down some trees here. 
Let's, uh... And right outside our house. I mean, nice and close. If anything goes wrong. Yeah, it's already sounding like it's probably almost dead. I wonder how fast the trees grow back in this game. That's something I've been kind of wondering. It's just going to keep going. Look at that. There we go. All right, we're going to drop the chainsaw right there. I did notice that there was a spare one here from some time that we had forgotten to grab one, I guess. And we'll grab all these. I wish we could carry more than uh, one at a time. Kind of like in um, what I what I think about every time I look at this is uh, the forest, I think is the game, game is called. You can carry more than one log and then he stacks it up on his shoulder. And I'm like, yes, that is that is the system we need right now because it is weird that you can only carry the one log in this game. Considering it is a main form of um, money for you. So. Yeah, one of the big questions is going to be, can this thing make it up that hill? with a load of logs because the logs are definitely heavy and I have noticed them making this thing work before. So let's close our tailgate. We're gonna grab our chainsaw. Um, open our door first. I'm actually pretty sad. I, um, I found a almost brand chainsaw right at my foot that's funny but i had found a turbo inlet pipe just outside of or sorry just inside the um junkyard at one point the scrapyard they wanted 80 bucks for it and i think one goes for 100 so it was like save 20 bucks and i was like oh okay awesome and i paid for it i was excited and then uh it fell out of the truck on the road and now we don't have it anymore. So it was basically like taking 80 bucks and saying, here you go, out the window. So we're going to go to town with this load of logs. And I am, I mean, we've got enough money for the turbo system. So I think we're just going to install the turbo system. No idea how it goes on the truck. Oh yeah, see that? She's totally climbing the hill. I wasn't even able to make it up this hill there for a little while with a load of logs in the back. So that's, that's saying something. She's definitely, definitely doing better now that she's got the, uh, better internals and the, um, carbureted. It does seem like it is better without the turbo system kind of thing, so. Oh, no. Yeah, sometimes this thing gets just a little too squirrely for me. All right, the moment of massive truth here can we you know what I think while we're here we are going to try and cut down that other tree as well load this into the truck. Let's see how loaded we can get. Okay, it does sound like our chainsaw died on us in the middle of that cut there. So we are short a couple of logs, but we're going to try and load all of these into the truck and we're going to see how she does. So I'll catch you guys in a second. All 
All right, so there you have it, everyone. That's kind of what almost two full trees looks like in the back of this truck. There would be four more pieces if we could cut that guy up. And now, uh, moment of truth. Can this make it up the hill? We don't really have a run at it right now, so we're going to try giving it a little bit of a run. Oh, oh, can she do it? She, she's trying. She's actually trying this time. Oh my goodness. That is the stuff there. Oh my goodness. So much more power than we used to. I'm curious about this iron bin. I'm curious what you're supposed to throw in there because technically we're supposed to be throwing all the appliances and stuff in there, right? Or not in there, but in... um. At the scrapyard. So, all right, I'm going to offload these logs here and I'm going to probably stop at the um, shop. I'm going to pick up the rest of our turbo stuff. I'm going to see you guys back at the shop and we're going to install this turbo system. All right, everyone, we are in the, sh the shop now, the warehouse, and I just want to share with you guys quickly look at that $1,800. That is the most money we've ever had in this game, and it is super exciting to see. And yeah, turbo inlet pipe, 100 bucks. That's super exciting. We're about to watch it go by, so say goodbye, guys. Bye, money. And we'll see you guys at the shop. All right, everyone. We are back at the shop, and we have our turbo parts. We've got our inlet pipe, our exhaust manifold, and the turbo itself, plus the entire fuel injection system. It is time to turbocharge JT over here our good old junk truck. So, first thing we need to do, remove her, unfortunately, almost brand new carbureted system. So we're gonna throw that there. All right. And then finally, we do need to remove our exhaust system as well. So, never installed a turbo system before, never installed one in this game either, so I have no idea what to expect. I know there's different types of uh, turbos. You can have intake turbos, or you can have um, exhaust turbos. This is kind of seeming like an exhaust turbo system, so we're going to see... We're just gonna have to kind of guess a little bit on where everything is supposed to go. I have really no ideas. So I assume that the whole system will go together like that. Exhaust manifold's gonna go on like that. Does our turbo go on? Does the turbo inlet pipe go on next? No, I don't think it does. I think the turbo goes on next. Turbo goes on next, there we go. And then this must count as like an exhaust pipe or something. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we take this guy off. Then the pipe is supposed to come something like... I have no idea where this is supposed to go. Wonder if the engine's gonna have to be out of the truck to put it on. Oh, there we go. All right, that looks like it. That must be it. Was it that easy? Tighten up all our bolts. Looks like there's only two bolts on the exhaust manifold, and then looks like we've got two on the turbo itself. I'm not seeing another two, so that is a turbo system, you guys. I think. I mean, I could be wrong. I, I, I really feel like 
that's all together. I don't think we're missing anything. The only thing I can really think of is that there isn't really an exhaust on it. But we never really did deal an exhaust. We just have the manifold like that. So, okay. I say, I think it's, uh, it's nighttime. Let's, uh, let's sleep. And then tomorrow, I think we, uh, we try out this new fancy turbo system that we've got going on. So, all right. Oh, about those wheels. I figured out who stole them the other day. I want you to help me do some devious, come back to me, bring your mechanics creeper. Okay, so looks like our buddy actually has another side job for us. So we're going to deal with that uh, another day. I just kind of want to see what this turbo system's kind of got going on for us. Let's uh, see if she fires up. All right. She fired up. I heard a turbo. You can hear it. it it's kind of faint, but you can 100% hear. I have a feeling that's a rock crawling course. Oh man, that's so cool. They actually have some turbo noises. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of off-roading here. I think that this is just... Yeah, this just leads kind of back. So we're going to try... So this is kind of where we got stuck coming up. So I think we'll be able to come down. Oh, we got garbage. Stop sliding, truck. Okay, she's done sliding, it looks like. Let's, uh, let's throw some garbage back in here. Perfect. All right, let's, uh, I'm basically going to come down to the bottom here. We're going to turn around and we're going to try to make it up, up top. So we're going to see if the turbo helped or how much it might have helped. So we are still in two-wheel drive. So we are going to attempt this in two-wheel drive to start with. Just because we're ballsy like that. Oof. That rock is no joke, man. I kind of want to know, is there a better way to go over it? Maybe not in two-wheel drive. Yeah, it just gets... It literally is like a hang-up point for us. That's interesting. Uh, no. Can't go up in two-wheel drive. We tried. Better tires might change that, but... All right, here we go, four-wheel drive. Whew. Let's see if we can get over this rock quickly. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't really look like our front end locks. I feel like we're gonna blow up our turbo doing this. All right, up we go. Come on, girl. What you got? What on earth? You've got a turbo. Why can't you make it up this hill? That is insane to me. We made it up with the other car with the carbureted. Why on earth won't we be able to make it up with a turbo? No. Oh my goodness. It almost feels like it might be weaker now. We can't get back up this hill. That is so intriguing. Why on earth would you struggle more? 
the only thing I can really maybe think about is tires. Like, the tires don't have enough traction, so now the tire spins more, so there's less. It does feel more powerful, so why can't it make it up the hill? Let's go through some mud. Yeah, we can't even make it through this mud. To be fair, I don't know if the carbureted would have gone this way either. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she is uh she is unhappy with this mud. I I'm thinking this comes down to tires unfortunately on this one. I'm thinking the tires just don't grab enough, so it struggles to get through deeper mud and over obstacles. Like over here in the solidish ground, it looks like she's fine. Yeah, no issues here, eh? So this is uh, probably a tire issue. I guess that'll be the next uh, the next upgrade will be... Yeah, she made it through just fine that time. So yeah, it must be must be tires on this one. So, there you have it, everyone. Looks like we have more grinding to do. We need a new set of tires, and we need a mace app. Oh my goodness. Is that garbage still there? Yeah, it's still there. Alright, I'm going to take this, drop it off, and... Uh... Ooh, we got more garbage here. Yep. Gonna go do, gonna do some scrap runs. Probably gonna go load it up with uh, trees and stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one, I think. So, thanks so much for watching. Oh my goodness. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace out.